Tuesday's Wolfie and I have start, just started going today. On Wednesday, so I do a little football, football Steve does that as well. And he invited me over here to do some playing and I'm really enjoying it. I've been sweating since uh, we've been doing the drafting. If you don't know what drafting is, it's just basically going round slowly with a person swapping at the front to back and there's a person in the middle and then we take in turn to walk to the front because it's good for training. We usually do the drafting in the middle or for a warm down or a, for a warm up. There was a tackle my mate in this other sport that I do, wheelchair football. He nearly tipped my chair off in a tackle. Well, there's a guy called Darryl, um, Bradley's team, helping Bradley, and he scored all the goals, and Bradley scored no goal. So, how am I now? My son's James Horsley, um, and we've been coming to athletics for about four weeks. Uh, we used to do the athletics over in Home Church, um, but the, the borough lost funding to continue the athletics, athletic wheelchair athletics over there. Um, and now we're uh, coming down here because we know Steve who invited us down. Um, and basically James just wants to come, well one, to do sport and sort of be involved with other kids of similar ability to himself. Um, and um, just to help him sort of build up his stamina to be involved in other sports as well. And, and you know, basically in life as well. In his normal life at school, he'll use um, electric wheelchair, but you know, by doing wheelchair athletics, basically, you know, it's helped build his stamina. Um, you know, and basically, sort of, you know, even during his school day, it make you know, he'd be less tired during the day. It just helps him sort of like, um, you know, prolong his, you know, physically, you know, to you know, during the day. Well, generally speaking, he's like um, when he used to do wheelchair athletics, he's always done it in uh, his lightweight. Uh, own personal chair, um, but um, the guys um, are doing things like the mini, marath mini marathon, um, and Steve wanted to try him out for the first time in a racing chair. So basically, we had to because um, the one of the chairs that he, the small chair that he had, didn't have a foot plate, so we had to put a new foot plate on it. And um, now we're sort of like trying to get him into a racing chair. So. And that's a bit of a new experience for him. Basically, you know, the wheel, uh, you know, a no normal manual wheelchair, you sort of is more sitting and upright, uh, whereas a racing chair is um, basically sort of like a more sort of um, chest laying on your knees sort of position. Um, so probably for most people, not the most comfortable position. But um, f you know, some of these guys, it, it, it's 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 a position that sort of like works and suits them. Uh, unfortunately, because of his uh, disability, um, it's a little bit more of a challenge for him because he, he's, with his disability, he sort of stiffens up more. So sort of the challenge of sort of like relaxing and getting forward because his, his disability pushes him more backwards. So he's, he's got a challenge on that side of things. Yeah, it's, like, it's probably like anything. It's, it's the case of um, once you sort of do it and then continually start doing it, you know, carry on with it, it will become more natural.